Welcome to another video on beginner hydroponics. Today, I'll guide you through the key features to consider when selecting a submersible pump for your hydroponic NFT, Nutrient Film Technique System. I'll also showcase my two NFT systems and share how my choice of submersible pump performed in each setup. By the end of this video, I hope you'll have a clearer idea of what type of submersible pump might work best for your NFT system. Let's dive in. What features to look for in a submersible pump for your hydroponic NFT system? The head. In the context of submersible pumps, head refers to the height to which the pump can lift a liquid. It is a measure of the pump's ability to overcome gravity and other resistance to move water or another fluid. The head is typically expressed in meters or feet and is a key performance metric for pumps. To determine the required height, a submersible pump must push nutrient water Start by measuring the vertical distance from the bottom of your reservoir to the highest point in your irrigation system where the NFT, Nutrient Film Technique, channels are located. This measurement represents the head. Once you have this value, choose a submersible pump with a head, rating that exceeds this height to ensure efficient water delivery throughout your system. The flow rate. In the context of submersible pumps, the flow rate refers to the volume of liquid the pump can move in a given amount of time. It is a key performance metric that indicates the pump's capacity to transfer fluid. The flow rate depends on several factors, including pump design. Larger or more powerful pumps generally have higher flow rates. Head height. As the height or head increases, the flow rate decreases because the pump has to work harder to push water vertically. Pipe size and friction losses. Narrower pipes or obstructions can reduce the flow rate due to increased resistance. For example, if a submersible pump has a maximum flow rate of 100 liters per minute, this is the maximum volume of liquid it can pump when there is little or no head, minimal vertical height or resistance. The flow rate is crucial when selecting a pump as it ensures the system receives adequate water volume to operate effectively. To accurately determine the minimum flow rate required for your hydroponic NFT nutrient filmed technique system, it is essential to calculate the total water demand of your irrigation setup. Start by identifying the number of irrigation tubes or NFT channels in your system and the flow rate required for each tube or channel. For example, if your system has 20 irrigation tubes and each requires a flow rate of 2 liters per minute, you can calculate the total flow rate as follows. Flow rate equals number of irrigation tubes times flow rate per tube. In this case, flow rate equals 20 tubes times 2 liters per minute equals 40 liters per minute. This calculation helps you select a pump capable of delivering sufficient water to maintain consistent and optimal flow through all channels simultaneously. Ensuring the pump exceeds this requirement is critical to avoid underperformance, which can impact plant health. When selecting a submersible pump, it's important to consider additional factors, such as the voltage and, and frequency, which must match the electrical specifications of your country and the pump's wattage, which indicates the amount of power the pump consumes while operating. All of these specifications can be found on the pump's label, user manual, or even printed on the box that the pump came with. Now that you understand what to look for in a submersible pump, the next step is to choose a pump that is readily available in your area. Opt for a reputable brand known for quality and reliability, ensuring that replacement parts and servicing are easily accessible. To make an informed decision, consider seeking recommendations from fellow hydroponic growers, aquarium enthusiasts, or pond keepers who have experience with trusted pump brands. I chose to purchase a pump manufactured by Aquaspeed for my NFT system. This video is not sponsored by the way, it is just that this brand has great reviews and is available in my location. Since my reservoir is buried 1 meter underground, and we have a couple NFT channels that are elevated about 2 meters above ground, I needed a pump capable of delivering water to a height of 3 meters. To ensure the pump could meet the system's requirements with some margin, I opted for a model with a head of 4 meters. This led me to select the AquaSpeed A5000 model, which has a head of 4 meters and flow rate of 5,000 liters per hour. Here is a quick unboxing of the AquaSpeed A5000 model.
and here it is installed on my first NFT system. Please note that the reservoir is about 1 meter underground, and the system has only 10 channels. However, the two channels on the left are significantly elevated. I can say that this pump performed really good in this system. My second hydroponic NFT system has 38 irrigation channels and a reservoir that is buried about half a meter underground, and I thought will the Aquaspeed A5000 be able to handle this, considering the second system has far more channels to feed? The answer is yes. It performed well again. All right, everyone. I hope this video has been helpful in guiding you on what to consider when selecting a submersible pump for your hydroponic NFT system. By showcasing my two NFT systems and demonstrating how the pump performed, I hope you've gained some valuable insights to compare with your own NFT build requirements and make an informed decision on the right pump to purchase. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. If you have any questions or want to share your own experiences, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. See you in the next video.